Hi, I'm Mike, and welcome to Our Wyoming Life. This is our chicken house, and it's the place we're gonna spend the next couple weeks as we get to doing a major remodel right here. Exactly. <laughs> Hey there gang, welcome to the inside of the chicken house. It's a little dilapidated in here and that's because this house was actually built uh, the year after we came to the ranch. So back in 2009, went ahead, got this thing built. I really didn't know what I was doing. I built a 24 by 24 foot shed, which is now over the years kind of starting to fall apart. And really the main thing, whoa, <laughs> the main thing, the main problem that we're having is with the floor. Uh, lots of flooding has taken place in here over the years and really uh, that flooding has taken its toll on the floor. So let's take a look here and see exactly what we're dealing with. This is one of those spots that the floor is giving way. That's due to flooding, having a water dish there, whatever it may have been. And the other interesting thing about this is the chicken house is also where our goats live. Normally they live right here in this pen. It's been cleaned out, kind of, and what we're going to do today is actually remove the floor from this portion of the chicken house, about a 12 by 12 section. And we're going to remove the floor and replace it with new flooring and with a new uh, rubber substrate that we're going to put over that flooring to hopefully protect it uh, if there is any flooding that happens once again. So that's kind of our project for today. We're going to get rolling on this pretty darn quick. Uh, first steps are to cut out the floor, but before we get to that we're actually going to head over to the shop and we are going to start working on what's going to become our subfloor and that's going to be some OSB, but we're actually going to paint it and treat it so if it does get wet it's not the end of the world. By the way, the goats aren't even out here today. Uh, they are over at the uh, farm store where they get a chance to hang out during farm store hours in the petting zoo. And here they are hanging out in the, uh, the petting zoo, but uh, hopefully by the time the farm store closes, We'll be able to have them a brand new little pen over in the chicken house. At least that's the hope. We'll find out if we can get there. In order to do that, um, we're going to kind of hedge our bets here. We're going to start our painting project, get these floorboards or the, uh, the OSB we're going to be using for subfloor. We're going to try to get those painted and done so that by the time we're done with the other parts, the removal of the old floor, um, they are dry and ready to go in. Let's head over to the shop and take a look and see what that looks like. So after getting everything unloaded, um, we've got our five sheets of OSB set out here. This will become our new subfloor, but like I said, we want to treat it. Uh, we want to paint it a little bit. And to do that, we're going to use some kills that we picked up at Home Depot. And after that dries, we're going to put down some uh, porch paint or floor paint or deck paint or whatever you want to call it on top of that to hopefully make sure that the, the floors are sealed as much as we can get them anyway. So painting, not one of my favorite things to do, but uh, I'm gonna try to make, get this done as quick as possible and it's not gonna be pretty, but uh, we'll get some paint on it and get it dry so we can move on. Also, this is OSB. In a perfect world, I would be using um, like some flooring, which would be plywood, uh, but because I don't wanna take out a small bank loan, I'm going to just use OSB and uh, make it work. I'm going to close that door in case the wind kicks up, but other than that, I think we're ready to go. Um, normally you'd use a, you know, a pan and all that kind of stuff. Really, I'm just going to pour some paint on here and just smear it around.
So there we go. Five sheets of OSB, 716 OSB. Uh, it's all primed with kills. It's ready to go. Kills for us on the ranch, by the way, great stuff. Uh, we use it pretty much any, anywhere that wood is going to come in contact with any type of moisture, which is usually poop or pee. And uh, it helps protect that wood a little bit. And every little bit definitely helps. So while that dries, we're going to head back over to the chicken house. We're going to start a uh, little demo, a little deconstruction. We're going to start taking apart the floor. We're going to take apart a portion of the fence so that we can get to the whole darn thing. And eventually, the goats will have a, a whole new home. Hey, chickens. What are you doing in here? So when we originally built the chicken house, uh, we built it into three parts. There's the main area over on this side. This is where all the uh, nesting boxes are so the chickens can lay eggs. That's where the main, uh, the, all the egg layers are supposed to go. On this side, we built a little tiny room, not little tiny, but a little bit smaller. And in there is where all the baby chicks live. In fact, there's a bunch in there right now. Although most of them are outside, but there are a few. There's a rooster in here too, by the way. He's right there. And he is in what actually originally this area was more of a storage area. Uh, we had it to store food, whatever else we wanted to keep in here, shavings or whatnot. Uh, we could put a fridge in here if we wanted to keep eggs. But eventually it became the goat area and we ended up building this which is a divider to keep the goats in. So in order to start on this floor project, first thing I have to do is get this old divider out of here. My plan is to put it right back in after we're done, so I don't want to destroy it. So I think it's held in here with just a few screws. I can just slide this out of the way for right now. Now we're left with our floor, and obviously our flooring issues. Got a huge problem right here. So we have a hole, you can see there. So you can see how wet this has been. And honestly, like there are some screws that are holding this thing in. I don't know if it's even worth trying to find the screws or we just start ripping up the floor. But the first thing we have to do is actually cut around the outside of the floor to make sure that we're going to get exactly what we want to get. Before we get there, I'm going to grab a broom, kind of clean this out as much as I can, at least around the edges so when we cut, we're not knee deep in poop. Okay, now it may have been 13 years since we built this building, but the fact that it's still standing actually says something. Makes me feel a little better anyway. Um, hopefully when we start cutting the floor out, nothing falls down. And to get us started here, we're actually just going to be using a small four and a half inch uh, diameter skill saw type thing. Um, this thing will allow me to get what, within an inch or so of the edge of the wall, which should be enough. Um, I can leave a little bit on there, be able to cut around. Hopefully not go too deep because I don't want to cut the joists, which are underneath. Um, this, I think this is 7 16 OSB, but I'm not exactly sure, so I'm actually going to set it for about a half an inch and see how well that works. Now, it doesn't look like I'm getting all the way through, so I'm gonna go a little further just to make sure.
These holes, by the way, actually were set up um, to be able to let baby chicks go back and forth between this compartment and that compartment. Apparently we had too many baby chicks at one point. We'll actually cover that back up when we're done. That step's done. Now, we have to get some floor out of the way. So the next step in the whole process requires a crowbar. We're gonna start popping this floor out. One thing I think I forgot in here, I think when I put this floor on, I actually did a double floor. Why, I'm not exactly sure, but uh, let's pull some of this up and see what we get here. Guess what? The way you're underneath this is in half bad shape, but it's got to come out. Okay guys, let's take a look and see what we've got here. I've gotten the top layer off of the floor, and as you can see, quite a bit of rot in there. Not so much back here. Way more up in there and even a hole through probably where water was sitting or something else. So you can see the joist underneath there, and that's where we're gonna be going down to all the way down to the bare joist. I think we're gonna take it all the way across, even right up to that line there, and just take all this out and get it replaced today. Whew. Whew. That was fun. Made another hole though. Okay. Now the real work begins because we've got a problem. When I built this, I basically built it in four 12 by 12 sections. Those 12 by 12 sections of flooring were then bolted together on cinder blocks, raised up, leveled out, and put in. Um, it didn't quite work out very well because we had an issue here where one of our main beams, which was two two by sixes put together, actually split. You can see it right there. That split caused all of these joists right here, these three joists, to fall. Now that joist could have split because of moisture. A number of different, hey, what are you doing in here? We're not ready for you. You're not even a goat. Anyway, uh, it could have been moisture that caused that, I don't know. The only real thing that I can do here in this situation is jack this up, get some blocks underneath it to be able to hold up this portion of the floor, and then reattach it to that joist. So I'm going to grab a floor jack, literally a floor jack, and we're going to jack up the floor. All right. Floor jack. Jack. Oh. 
that should hold. Looking back, if I, knowing now, if I would have known then what I know now, um, I would have actually done hangers on the, uh, on the joist here. But obviously I didn't know that back then. The very first big, actually this was my very first big construction project that I did on the ranch. We'd only been on the ranch for, I think less than a year when we started building this chicken house. So not a bad, horrible job. Um, but yeah, I would have put hangers on here. That would have been something that, that should have been done. Wasn't done. Actually, you know what, here's a, here's a good thing to do. If you um, go back and look at something that you built 14, 15, 10, 10 years ago, whatever, go back and look at it you'll definitely find things that you would have changed. Probably make your life easier now too. Don't dig too much into it though or else you end up with this. Again, if I go back, actually, you know what? If I had hangers now, I'd probably put hangers on it now, but I don't, uh, I don't have any hangers. So we'll have to get those for our next adventure in here, but for now, I think what we're doing is gonna work. Let's recap. Uh, we've got a chicken house floor that we need to redo. So we painted new floorboards. We removed the fence that uh, actually held in the goats. We moved that to the side. We tore out all of the floor and we re-leveled the joists that had fallen down. Now it's time to put the floor black back in and luckily everything is dry and we have the help of our friend Jeff who, what have you been doing today? work <laughs> sure okay that's not vague or anything i, I uh, did some things cool well good all, for you all the things were they useful things they were very useful awesome things. that's all that matters you're gonna be a little bit more useful because the rest of this i, I don't think i have enough arms to do <laughs> so and hands because arms wouldn't really be any good without hands at the end of them um so anyway uh, we're gonna be moving our floorboards in we're gonna get them cut to size because that's gonna be a tricky nightmare i think getting them laid in there and screwed down. Then our plan is to cover that with a layer of rubber, which I'm not quite sure if we're gonna fasten down or not. We're gonna put it in there and see how, so it sits. how it sits. We may not even have to fasten it down. Then we're gonna do a kickboard around the outside. And at the end, we're gonna caulk everything so it's all watertight. Cool. Then we'll go get goats and we'll see if they like their new house. Cool. Oh, and we gotta put that middle fence thing back up oh, too. Yeah. So that won't be too bad. So that's it. Um, so roughly another hour, hour and a half worth of work maybe, and we'll get it wrapped up. So here we go. Ready. So putting the floor back in, I think we're better off to do the floor long ways. Otherwise our long yeah. seam will be sitting on a, a long hole, <laughs> basically. Yeah. Yeah. So if we can come this way with them, sideways I think we'll be better off the problem is that I think this is not it's not a foot Bummer. so we're gonna have to cut boards so let me grab a tape measure sit inside so we are at seven foot three inches will be pretty good let's walk down a little bit to see <laughs> Seven foot three. Yeah, seven foot three. All right. So if we cut them at seven foot three, we should be able to just lay them in here. Boom, boom, boom. Ooh. 
Okay. Oh, a little wet underneath still. That's nice. All right, look at that. It fits. Got some screws here. We're gonna drop these in, secure it. Jeff's gonna cut us another. last one we're going to put in is actually going to go only to our center joist. We're going to leave that open because we'll do the other side along with the chicken house or the other side, the chicken side. So whatever that side is, that's what we need to cut at. 42 and a half. 42 and 3 eighths. So when I built this chicken house in 2009, it was my first, um, oh, you got some paint on here. Our paint's still wet. A little bit on the underneath. Um, edges, yeah. Was my very first big tool purchase. Any guess what that tool was to help build the chicken house? A table saw. No, but that would have been a good one because it was not. <laughs> I remember having to cut this with like a little tiny, like a handsaw, not like, a, like an electric handsaw, right. but yeah. Um, no, it was a nail gun. An air oh, air nail yeah. gun. Nice. Yeah. And uh, sure so, that. oh yeah, exactly. I mean, that was the thing when I was building this, I was like, there's no way I'm pounding nails. <laughs> so now we're doing everything with screws, but back then, yeah, all ring shank nails, big old, you know, air powered nail gun that will go through your thumb. <laughs> so <laughs> that's the moral of the story. But hey, look, totally fine now. Look at that. Jeff is grabbing our kick plate. Um, that'll keep any moisture from getting up onto this, I think, which will be a good thing. Here comes one. Two. Two. Good, doesn't it? Maybe I'll put the goats in my trailer and I'll live out here. <laughs> <laughs> so next up we have the fat the gate and that's it. And then I guess we should probably show, throw some shavings or some something in here for these guys. Something for, a lay, for them to lay on. Here comes the gate. Oh. Cool. As good as new compared to what it looked like before to now. All right, I think I'm gonna throw some hay in here. We'll throw those shavings in 
And then what do you say about uh, we go get some goaties? Sounds good. Cool. We got a little bit of hay in here for them. We've got some bedding. Uh, Jeff's actually going to grab some pine pellets. Uh, to throw in here and finish this thing out. The one thing we didn't do was the uh, caulking that I wanted to do around the edges. That's still in on the agenda. Um, the thing was that I need to get the goats in here tonight and if the caulk is wet I'm afraid they're gonna lick it or eat the silicone or whatever it is they may do. So we're gonna hold off on that for right now but everything else is completely done. Um, we'll throw those pine shavings in and then go get some goats. And here comes Jeff with the pine shavings now. One bag gonna do it? I don't know. I don't know if they've ever had pine... Actual bedding? <laughs> yeah, they they uh, they might just try to eat it, honestly. Equine pellet bed, I, mean, I don't see any problem with it. If they eat it, they eat it. Maybe we just do one bag. <laughs> if they do, yeah, just in case they do eat it. What do you think? supposed to make cleanup easier. Oh, really? Because it, uh, the pellets that don't get wet stay pellets. The pellets get wet, turn into sawdust. Oh. So you could separate it easier. I don't know. With this, we might be able to just put a Roomba in here. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Hey, Bean. You want to move goats? Bean, you want to move goats? Smile, Bean, smile. All right, head it in. Grab a goat, any goat. I want waffle. You want waffle. Didn't waffle, or where's waffle? Well, you're not a goat. You're an Ethel. This is Ethel, by the way. She's our miniature donkey. She's going to have a baby in October, we hope. So, say hi to the people. Hey, Waffle! Oh! Waffle! I got photo bombed by Yoda. Waffle! Hey, Waffle! Hi, Grace. Hey. How are you? Good. How was your day? Good. Lincoln, how was your day? Can I hold it? What? Okay, but how was your day? Good. Where are you going? I can get them all hooked. I think I can get them. Well, all right. All right don't get no Waffle. Call it. Hey, stop it. Take them in. From the haters. Okay, go. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> oh, got tackle. Fancy got you. Hey, you better figure out your leash there. You're, you're underneath Fancy. And around Jeff. <laughs> oh, you got to under, no. Fancy, where's my? Okay. Everything happy into Fancy. Okay. Here we go. Ready yeah. for this? Yeah. Y'all ready for this? Come on, Waffle. Whoa. Jack! Come on. Waffle, close that now. Come on. Come on. I've got a mess here. <laughs> okay, let go of yours for... There you go. Get it around Jack's foot. Okay. Hey, how do you get only one, Grace? Okay, come right, on. Let's go, goats. Okay. Let's go. You go fast, Lincoln. I can't. Why not? There you go. Oh. Catch up to Grace. Okay, Jeff, you run. <laughs> <laughs> come on, goats. Ethel doesn't run. She uh, moves at Ethel's speed. Just like one gear above the speed of dark. So it's almost bedtime. The sun is setting. Ethel actually uh, beds down in the barn because she doesn't fit in the goat house. So we're going to take her to the barn. This way. And get her put down to bed. 
Come on, girl. Ethel, of course, has the, the weirdest uh, roommates, especially at night. Hey, how are you? Jenny and Forrest. Coming up to say hi. But that's not the roommate that we're worried about today. We're going to go take a look at the goats and see how they're liking their new home. Take a look. Hey kids. Hi guys. What do you think? New house. Very cool. Why did you put so many treats everywhere? Well those aren't treats, those are pellets that are supposed to like be like shavings. Okay? okay. Alright. They look like treats. They do look like treats, but they're not. They'll probably eat some of them. All right, guys. Hope you like it. A whole lot more to come there where that comes from because you guys get it next, or maybe you guys over there haven't decided yet. All right. That's pretty much it for us for tonight. Our next video, hopefully, will show us wrapping up this entire project and finishing up the entire chicken house. Then we go into comfort mode uh, because we've got some modifications that we're going to make, make into the chicken house including uh, new winter water and a new um, septic system let's just say that it's all coming up so be sure to go ahead and uh, follow us subscribe whatever it's called on youtube hit the bell button shut up forgot what i was doing over there subscribe hit the bell button so you make sure you don't miss any videos and follow along as we explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary right here on our wyoming life thanks guys